Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dauntless Clear Gaming. So, um, apparently we had a completely irrelevant part of an episode when we went back in time to save Chloe's father because now we have to kill him again. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. What a that fucking waste all. of time. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Fucking pointless. Yeah, I know. I know. So we're back to square one. Really great. Nothing's changed. We just wasted what? Two minutes about <laughs> what the fucking fuck? You suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. What was that good Let's for? Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. 
I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Oh boy. What did she want me to do? Oh god, I wasn't really listening. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Right. Oh, fuck you, Warren. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? What? Thank you for your help with Nathan. Just appreciate it. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whatever. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Map. Surveillance cameras at <laughs> Hannah Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Is that a surprise? I wonder if David is going to the party. Yeah, with lots of drugs. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David. What you hiding? Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. I guess this plank was there for a reason. I don't want the poor little baby birds to die. So, give me a fucking tool to break this fucking padlock. Oh, there was something there. But... Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Crowbar. Nice. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. That was easy. No, 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What? Okay. Oh. What the fuck? Score. Back to Chloe now. Will I still have the stuff? I think so, yeah? Oh yeah, I, I still have it in my inventory. And also the crowbar. Can I put the crowbar back? No, I will still have it. Huh. Okay, so I can't put that back. Plank is still there. So let's go. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? No. Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Boo. So badass. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled uh -huh. friend. Uh -huh. And I take uh -huh. hope in the fact that you have plenty of Sorry. time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Oi, I'm standing here. Justin, hey, it's been so long since I've seen you. Look at all those fucking emos here. Oh, I gotta take a break. So before we find out where Nathan is... Yeah, we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.